Exactly one year ago from the making of this video, it's very unlikely that you had ever even heard of the YouTube channel known as T-Series. Unless you were a person like me that would frequent websites such as Social Blade, which allows you to see YouTube channel statistics. Unless you spend your time looking at numbers from a day-to-day -day basis, it's highly unlikely that you had any idea of what it was. But then all of a sudden, it becomes big news. Seemingly out of nowhere, and has also sprung up recent controversy and ideas of how exactly this happened. Some people have gone as far as to claim that an entire company's success has been completely fabricated. So, does T-Series actually subbot? The truth will shock you. I literally just made a clickbait title in my head. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. I think I just might go with that. To answer this question, we need to first understand the exact definition of what a subbot is. Unfortunately, if you try to look it up on Google or any actual official dictionary, you won't find anything substantial. Of course, if you go on Urban Dictionary, it's a different story. But for the time being, we're just gonna make up our own definition. We're just gonna define the word subbot as a artificial way of gaining subscribers that's not organic or real. Basically, fake ass subs. Buying fake subscribers, whatever you wanna call it. We all mean different things when we use this word, but either way, it's all generally the same thing. So this supposed subbotting has of course taken place on YouTube in the long past, generally used by individual people to simply make themselves look bigger than what they actually are. But it's been a very rare occurrence to see an actual company doing this. And yes, T-Series is actually a company. Not a person named T-Series, not something else, it's simply a company. So instantly right off the bat, we can check a mark off of the improbability scale of them subbutting. Because what would be the point of a company faking their own subscribers? There's no monetary incentive from it. You obviously don't get paid by how many subscribers you have, so it wouldn't affect the company in terms of how much money it's making. And generally speaking, companies don't care about how many subscribers they have, they only care about the amount of people they're able to reach. So if anything, it would be more probable of T-Series faking their own views. Multiple Vivo channels and celebrities on YouTube have been confirmed to have been doing this a long time ago, and probably still today, generally as a way to increase their own publicity and encourage more people to watch their stuff. And sure, you can argue that T-Series could be faking subscribers in the attempt to simply attract more attention to them. But this is where we have to jump into the juicy stuff. We're going to dissect the exact possibilities of what it takes to subbot on YouTube. Especially if it's even possible to subbot 90 million subscribers. To answer it shortly, in part, it's not possible. There is simply no way that you can fake 90 million subscribers on YouTube. YouTube's algorithm specifically targets fake subscribers to automatically remove from channels and also terminate channels that actively make fake subscribers. Not to mention, botting all the way up to this point in success would cost a tremendous amount of energy and most likely money as well. Let's just play devil's advocate and say that T-Series did bot every single one of their subscribers subscribers. And I can't believe for the sake of this video I actually had to search this up on Google, but I just did so I could have a reference. If they had simply bought all of their subscribers using some online bot, they would have had to pay over 9 million dollars to simply bot all the way up to their point right now. And like I said earlier, considering that they're a business and the amount of subscribers doesn't affect anything about your money, that wouldn't be that good of an investment. In fact, it would probably bankrupt them. And besides, they would also have to bot the necessary amount of views to make their subscriber game seem legitimate. And at a rate of 100 million every single day, well, let's just say it's not looking too likely. Um, wait a second, T-Series doesn't get any views per video, so that's how I know their subscribers are fake. Well, you're definitely right. T-Series as a YouTube channel doesn't get that many views on a regular basis in terms of every single video that they post. But you have to take into consideration a lot more than just that. 
As I've mentioned a lot before, T-Series is a company, so therefore, people aren't subscribing to them for the same reason that you would subscribe to, say, PewDiePie, or any other individual content creator. You subscribe to the content creator because you want daily videos or your certain fix of entertainment on a regular basis. However, people that subscribe to T-Series subscribe mainly to receive the newest hit music videos and movies. And of course, since they release so much content on such a wide scale, it would be almost impossible for every single thing that they would upload to go viral. The same reason why channels such as CNN and other news channels and TEDx usually don't receive too many views on every single video that they post. And this is specifically because not every single video they post is gonna be the next viral news story or the next biggest TEDx talk. And companies have to continually mass producing their content in order to gain more of them, since they have the manpower to do so. So I would say that this probably would go to another check of improbable for their subbotting. So basically up to this point we've discussed everything against the idea of T-Series subbotting. But now what about the evidence towards the notion. On multiple occasions, it's been seen that T-Series would instantly gain thousands of subscribers in one second. Now, this could easily be chalked off as simple YouTube subscriber audits where they can either take away subscribers or add subscribers. Sometimes even live update counters are usually relying on the flawed YouTube system, which sometimes is delayed and then instantly updates in one second. However, that doesn't explain the almost perfect stalemate between T-Series and PewDiePie for the last two months. Some people have simply suggested that the YouTube channel T-Series has recently started altering their subscriber count to stay almost perfectly in line with PewDiePie in an attempt to keep up their publicity based off of their competition with PewDiePie. It's quite clear that T-Series has the power to overthrow PewDiePie in one second. If they wanted to, they could just produce a mass advertising campaign in their country, which could probably make them gain a million in a single day. However, they don't, for one of two reasons. They either don't care or they're leeching off of their extra publicity that they're getting from their competition with PewDiePie. Doing this by artificially inflating their subscribers or deflating their subscribers just enough so they can stay at the exact amount of PewDiePie, so they can receive more attention. In my opinion, it's probably a little bit of both. A company's business tactics is a lot different than a single person's. They are 100% in it for their own financial success. And the more attention that they have, the more money they make, and the more prosperous their business is. So it's not unrealistic that they would try to pull something like this. Do I personally believe that this is the case? I'm going to say no, but I will add one check mark on the possibility scale. So out of all this, is it likely that T-Series has subbotted all of their subscribers? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, it's basically a 0% chance. Their insane growth is simply a result of their immense audience in their country. However, is it likely that they could be pulling some kind of scheme to stay in line with PewDiePie's growth patterns to get more attention? That I will say yes. We may never know for sure. But I would like to know your answer in the comments section, so feel free to do that. And while you're at it, make sure you turn that thumb button blue, and if you do that, you'll get 10 years of good luck. And I'll see you guys in the next video.